Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip from a recent live event where myself and my members and Blaze were hanging out talking Splinterlands. And in this one, we're going to talk about soulbound reward cards and how we believe that they will be, first of all, really useful, but second of all, actually really expensive. For what reasons and why we will explain here so i hope you'll stick around for this one and uh, thanks to blaze for hanging out and for the two hour conversation if you want to be present at these live conversations support the youtube channel become a member and you'll be invited okay bye for now yeah and it's going to be also it's going to be hard for people to catch up once we get our decks going you know in the mm -hmm. next six months <laughs> mm -hmm. you know it's going to be really hard for a newcomer that's what i like a lot about that game too and uh you know no offense to the salty uh Crew, but they need to shut their mouth you know <laughs> <laughs> you know we we build up to everybody should want to be a whale right yeah and and what i like about this game is you can't come in with a hundred grand and kick everybody's butt no you, you now have to play these soulbound rewards cards that are being dropped on us are going to be very pricey once they're unlocked I know. there's some absolute gems man mm -hmm. yeah you're right yeah they and oh. and i think people there's gonna there's a number of people that aren't so like we have we've we've people have speculated we probably have like forty thousand real players and I don't know what number that is playing this game but the accounts um, there will be maybe maybe there will be a hundred thousand accounts that have a strong or a, like a, a really full um, soul bound deck and then like eventually I think this game will really have a million accounts playing it daily I think and. Yeah. And those guys, nine, that means 900,000 or 800,000 accounts aren't going to have those soulbound cards, but they're going to come to us who are unlocking them to buy them. And when you say they're going to have a high value, remember, not only are they good, not only will they be desirable, um, not only is there only going to be, let's say, 200,000 accounts having them when there's a million accounts needing them. That's my vision of the future. But uh, lastly, you have to remember that, that not all of those soulbound cards are going to just suddenly be available onto the market then it's not like after a year they'll just be transferable no you have to make the intentional decision to actually put dc into them to give them cp or whatever and then they'll be they'll be transferable and so uh, if there are 200 you worked so hard for it too right so what's that it's not gonna be an easy drop you worked so hard for that card right yeah you grinded and you got it maxed out and yeah okay whatever's left over you can sell but those main cards are gonna stick because we we need them for competition mm -hmm. and when there's big money tournaments we're gonna need that card and we're not gonna sell it so yeah when you can see the big picture to, uh, to your chat here it's like we're super early because i don't know i travel a lot i live on islands i'm pinging around i'm on my phone you know my wife's talking to me i'm acting like i'm paying attention you know i'm, I'm trying to get those two minutes in uh but no i'm playing on my phone but the mobile's crap you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they can't go we can't get those eight hundred thousand players yet it's early we're early days right now so mm -hmm. yeah just heads up Wait, when they get this app dialed in and the, everything's functioning and we can do everything nice and smooth from the app mm -hmm. um that's going to be and they start doing the marketing and we get it on big exchange uh this game can run i mean i've played a lot of games i've invested in a lot of time in other games and stuff and i just gravitate towards splinterlands because there's just you can get lost in here and there's so many ways to if you're looking for to, to make money in life and you want it to be in splinterlands there's so many things you can do we've talked about it dozens of times but there's the flipping of cards there's the appreciating value there's the swapping there's just so many uh forms of uh, earning man mm -hmm. that, that people need to be excited and uh not not be here for a quick buck yeah yeah exactly um because i think right now there's lately there's been a lot of actually frustration around these soul bounds and some people will say there's going to be way too many of them and other people will say they have no value and 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 i think both of those those comments are just like objectively wrong because they like are. A, Here's, let me add to that yeah you remember last year around this time yo there's metas dude i hated life i didn't want to play life life sucked you know <laughs> right yeah and now there's no real meta ever i'm i'm in discovery mode i'm like i'm horrible because i usually i know what play to play with mm -hmm. but i ended up let me just throw this little uh martyr in the front and let him die and get you know so i'm always experimenting with the new cards mm -hmm. and uh, it's obviously not letting me play to my full potential but i'm having so much fun doing that it just seeing the big picture of where this is going those reward yeah. cards are insane yeah absolutely and um there was one thing i was going to say that i think bears i guess expounding on it's the idea that 
if there are 200,000 accounts getting this card, Etern and Brun, and the other Soulbounds, and let's say those 200,000 accounts are going to get saturated with these, like even if you want to say that you're going to, by the end of the one or two years that they're issuing these, you individually and maybe I and everyone who's playing actively individually will have maybe more copies than they quote unquote need, but recognize, first of all, that's fine because they are transferable, but then there will be a growth of player base and they will want it too. And the cards aren't instantly transferable. So that means that if there are 200,000 accounts that have this card, and let's say there are, I don't know, 400,000 copies of a card, like, like at a decent level, I don't, I, that can't even be so it may, maybe probably there'll be with a summoner like this, I bet at the end of the day, you know, there'll be at the at the levels that you're going to want, there's not going to be enough copies. But then of the 100, if the pie is, um, if the pie of this summoner, if the number of cards available is, let's say 100%, like you just imagine whatever is maximum, whatever, whatever is possible is 100% of the pie. Well, only 30% of that possible pie is going to be made transferable. So of the of the cards that exist, only a fraction will be made transferable and therefore ever reach the, the rental market or the sale market. And that's going to mean necessarily that they have higher than expected rental and sale values because a, a small proportion of the total will, or a large proportion of the total will never be made transferable. Why? Because that guy or girl or that owner doesn't want to spend the DEC to make it transferable for no reason at all. They're only going to do that if they want to sell it or rent it. And so again, that's not going to be the full population that makes it to that transferable marketplace. And so I think they actually are going to have a surprising value um, for a lot of reasons, one of which being the, the player base will grow, I think, and another being that tra the mechanism by w through which they become made transferable cost you something, so m many will never be made transferable. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I didn't, I haven't dove down, I'm, I'm, I've missed some stuff, I'm sure, but it would be really cool, just while you were on that screen, um, those soulbound cards, mm -hmm. um, it would be really cool if if you were part of a guild, you can uh, delegate that card to a guild member, mm. right? Like if there's some kind of medium ground where you're not selling it and you're not unlocking it, but your guild has, you know, whatever, barracks or whatever yeah. at, at level, then you can unlock that card to allow people to come and grab it to play with. That'd mm -hmm. be cool. That would be cool. And, and they have talked about new buildings, haven't they? I don't know much about it i don't i yeah. don't know if they've told us exactly what that's going to look like but they, they're planning on building new making new buildings for the guilds